Hello, everyone. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? We here on a different day. Right. So doing hopefully it different. we'll come. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, I feel yeah, like last yeah. time, hold on, one time we went on a different day and I was surprised that like, we, I felt like we still had a nice little like. Turnout. Yeah. 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 It was so tripping. Anyways, <laughs> I think so too. Um, well, guys, I am Chevy the Superstar. And I'm Toya. And this is Two Snaps in a Circle. <laughs> well, we give you movie news you can use, movie re reviews that you cannot refuse. And goddamn it, we topping them. Well, we're ending the money off. Money off. We're ending the <laughs> money off. I'm everywhere with our. Uh, Tells from the script. Script. Yep. Tells from the script. Lord have mercy. Tells from the script. Demon Night. <laughs> to end off this October Halloween theme. Um, I realized that I saw this movie before. <laughs> I figured you had. It's Jada Pinkett is in it. I've seen this before. <laughs> Jada Pinkett is in it. Yep. Yep, yep. And they spelled her name wrong in the uh in, uh the the uh opening credits. I was like, did they? Yes, I think it was Pinky <laughs> with two with one T. And I was like, and you know how you like you're used to seeing a, a actor's name so much that you know it when you see it. And so when I saw that, I was like, it was like pink it, pink it. <laughs> but for the longest, I thought that's how it was spelled. So maybe they was like me. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Who actually knows? But yeah, man, how are ya? How are ya? I am well. We're getting ready for this busy, busy weekend of yeah, Halloween busy, and many busy, other things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. I know, like it, it, yeah, Thursday, baby. Thursday, Thursday. begin. <laughs> it's just things are happening every day until Sunday. <laughs> Love with Halloween because, um, you know, you feel like the whole month, this is the first time I've ever like did something that kind of leads up to that moment but you realize how much people really don't talk too much about halloween like it, vaguely you know people are like oh it's spooky season it's fall you know but you realize how much people don't really talk about it until like this week this is the oh, week yeah. the pumpkins come out the the Halloween costumes start to kind of come in place celebrities start to tease a little bit very early you know I've realized that. What up, Stacy? Hey, yeah, I. I, I mean, yeah. unless you like in it for real, because mm -hmm. David came home, he forgot his costume, right? Oh man! So he told me that at twelve forty-five in the morning, and I said, "You in trouble, man?" Because you know I've been going to the Halloween store since end of September, and I went last weekend to pick up my costume finally, mm -hmm. and there was nothing. Nothing. In comparison to every fire, it was stuff there. Like mm -hmm. every week, the weekend before that, it was stuff there. Weekend yep. before, yep. weekend before that, went yep. on Saturday morning. I went, and not only that, one car in the parking lot, two cars in the parking lot. Go on Saturday at ten o'clock, ten thirty in the morning, parking lot filled, line wrapped around, everybody <laughs> scrambling. People arguing at the front counter trying to return costumes. No, even they're though they're not. the deadline for no, returns. People just, do y'all have any more Paw Patrol? We had some last week, but no, they gone now. They, they don't have that? no decorations. They don't have all the decorations that you press the button and they do stuff. They gone. Everything gone. They don't have, they don't even have no decorations left. You see, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's everything is happening. It's people throwing Halloween parties. It's people preparing for trick-or-treaters just for you know just going all over right. decorations only decoration then you got then you have from adolescent all the way to adult dressing up for halloween parties to go to to go out and trick-or-treat to 
present themselves at events. Like, it's just a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot. What up, though? Yes. And, uh, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Parker, <laughs> Parker, Sky from Paw Patrol. That's what I was saying. And then you got to be all these parents because all these kids are all watching Coco Melon. All these kids are watching Paw Patrol. All these kids are watching whatever the new show is, the new cool thing is. And nobody wants to be my pretty little pony from last year. Like I want to yeah. be the cool thing from this year. And and yeah, I remember what happened. 2020, whole ass panoramic. So kids, yeah, people was out last year because Halloween was on a Saturday. People were out last year, which I was very very surprised about because that's what uh that was so crazy about last year. Like all the holidays from Cinco de Mayo all the way to Halloween, all the way to Christmas, everything fell on a Saturday in 2020. And man, oh man, which sucked. Which sucks because this year, like for us, us adults, like it falls on a Sunday. So that means like if you were going to party, you either need to have a 30th, a October 30th, or you need, or you're going to party on a Sunday and you need to take Monday off mm -hmm. or you need to take your ass to work Monday morning. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> you said, mm -hmm. Already mm -hmm. putting it out there. I'm just putting it on out there. Siobhan will not be there <laughs> on Monday. So just <laughs> <laughs> I will not be there. I've already decided. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. But that's on hilarious. Monday, after Monday, well, I say after the fifth, mm -hmm. it all goes away and it turns it into Christmas. Away. All the can oh, man, all the yo, it the do you feel like Thanksgiving is a dis disrespected holiday? Because they, they like vaguely going to put out like Thanksgiving stuff closer to the actual date, but you're right. They're going to put out like more Christmassy things. Like even the clothes are just going to kind of change to like winter coats are going to come out. Like is Thanksgiving just like totally disrespectful? Like pish push. I mean now. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a, passed over holiday now mm. it's like you go straight to christmas now well black friday is more important to a lot of people than actual thanksgiving now mm -hmm. but but that's mm -hmm. because like when you do that when retailers start making employees go to work on thanksgiving and because last year was the first year that a lot of employers closed on thanksgiving for the first time in like a good 10 years yeah yeah so because of covid so I don't know if they're gonna do that again this year, but we'll see. Nah, cooking woman kill Thanksgiving. Yeesh. Yeesh. Ooh. Don't be mad because we made it into Friendsgiving. I mean, but that's still <laughs> celebrating Thanksgiving, though. That's still celebrating Thanksgiving. Somebody gotta cook, even for friends. Somebody gotta cook. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm bringing the meat and cheese platter, a.k.a. charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm, I'm being my mom's house, so, you know. Always. <laughs> but, yeah. So, sad to say that this is the end of the Halloween, all about the horror. But horror will be coming back in October, meaning um, in December, I believe. Because yeah. it's always great to add a little stabby stabby killy killy crumpet type <laughs> vibes during the halloween season i mean during the christmas season why i keep saying yeah, it's not wrong with that. It's not wrong with that. i mean it ain't no killer thanksgiving movies but oh we doing oh shit we going back to harry potter we going back into harry potter anyway <laughs> we have back into the hp we going back to hogwarts <laughs> i cannot wait oh we so Movie news was a little light this week, but I do have some things to tell you guys about what's going on in the world. Um, oh, I forgot to put something in there too. I don't even put it in there because I didn't read the article, I just screenshot at the headline. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. Oh shoot, I'm not ready. Let me get my, <laughs> life. Let me get my life real quick. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready? Ba 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 ba. Movie news. Yeah. Ba. <laughs> All right. So starting at the top, new trailer or second trailer for Heart of the Heart of They Fall. 
uh came out on Netflix. I mean on the internet, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Somewhere. And the film goes to theaters and Netflix on November 3rd. Um, did you watch Dune, everyone? Did anybody watch Dune? I almost got through it. I, I, I watched it on the night I was entirely too sleepy and I fell asleep, but I'm going to finish it tonight. I'm going to finish it tonight. I watched it Thursday night. Really? My brother said he watched it. My brother said he watched it. He said he liked it. He I, said mean, it I, I don't know what I watched, but I mean, I guess it was good. I, I don't know. Was, yo, I we talked, we spoke about this and I, I was like, I don't know what I watched either, but I'm excited to see what I'm watching. And yeah, man, they were like, I was like, what the heck is this? Like, and they just put you right in the middle. They, they put you, you right. They just put you right in it. Like, like, you yeah. know what's going on, right? Okay, cool. You it's know. like, we going to tell you all these things. So, so the thing about them, like from an A to B to C to D standpoint, I understand oh what the movie is about. Right. But as a story, what the story is about and what these people are trying to do and what's all about. I don't understand. Was, uh, man, man, I didn't know what was like, is that imminent danger? Like, is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? Yeah, like, like I, I didn't know. I like, wasn't able to understand like what that meant. Until they told me. And I was like, oh, so this ain't good. Okay. Got it. Got <laughs> it. Makes sense now. Oh, so these people be oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay these okay, people okay. good. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. Because it's literally like first 10 minutes is like these is these people. These is those people. That's them people. Them people over there. Some right people. Some yes. Shit about to go yes. down. Here you go. And it's like, but who is this guy? And who is she? And who is him? Yeah. Yeah. And what they doing? And why we on them? If we talking yeah. about this person, this person, this person. I don't know. But I mean, I did watch the movie. I love Jason Momoa in the movie. Yeah. I like Josh Brolin. I liked everybody. But I yeah. kept trying to kill off a person. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. Movies like that, that be all intense and stuff. When stuff be happening, I'm just like, oh wow. They about to die. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, Dune mm -hmm. made $40 million this weekend. And mm -hmm. I guess that's a good thing. In a post-pandemic world, yeah, um, yeah, the trailer, the first trailer for the film I discussed many moons ago, unforgettable or giveable, sorry, starring um, Sandy B. and Viola Davis, Vincent D'Onofrio, um, John Bernthal, mm -hmm. and many other people. Uh, the trailer finally dropped. It goes to theaters on November 24th and it comes to Netflix on December 10th. Hmm. Oh, speaking of Dune, there will be a part two. Yeah, they were teasing that. I'm like, okay. And it already has a release date. October 20th, 2023. So they already shot yeah, it. I didn't know that. They already shot it. They had to. Yeah. They probably did it all together. Yeah, this is some catching fire stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I see what they are. I see what they are. Now, I thought the trailer for this came out already, but I guess not. The first official trailer dropped this week for Cowboy Bebop, the live action version of the anime. Made right. it, and it will be streaming on Netflix on November 19th. Hmm. The teaser trailer for Buzz Lightyear starring our Captain America, Chris Evans, dropped today, I believe. And it yeah. will be in theaters and surprisingly no release for Disney Plus has been announced yet. It will be in theaters on June 17th, 2022. Which I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Netflix will do their first family roast, and that will be starring the Jonas Brothers. Oh, nice. Oh, that's going to be a good one. <laughs> yeah. We'll I'm see. excited to see that. I'm like, I, I actually watched that. Okay, so this is the hot news that was on the presses last week, this week. Alec Baldwin fired a prop gun that killed cinematographer. I spelled it wrong, so I'm going to say mm -hmm. it wrong. And I don't want to say her name wrong because she passed yeah. away. Um, but it was a female cinematographer um, best known for, I can't think of the name of the film, but I definitely spelled her name wrong. Dang. Mm -hmm. And injured the director as well, Joe uh, Souza 
on the set of the film Rust that was in production last week. Um, she died. She had two. She had a son, and she was married. But this is the uh, this is the gag right here. Uh, the assistant director gave Alec Baldwin a gun and told him it was okay to fire it. Now this is the real gag right here. The assistant director who handed Alec Baldwin the gun was terminated from previous 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 film for a different the, the same type of incident. David Halls was reportedly the assistant director on the Freedom Path in 2019 when a gun discharge on the Arkansas set caused a crew member injury. And um, yeah, so that's the gag right there. Wow, like the the recklessness the the just the just oblivious to something so extremely important i i could not there first of all i don't i don't want to imagine that but there are so many ways that i can imagine losing my life right and being a filmmaker someone who is on a lot of film sets or you know you know, does this type of work for a living, bro, it just makes me like, that's the one place I would never imagine losing my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, that's it just like the one place that I not. wouldn't imagine that ever happening. And my gosh, so tragic and traumatic. And it's just like, dude, let's do something about that, please. Like, like let's reprimand that man. Like, cause let's make sure that AD never does what they ever do. Like, come on now. Right. But also a couple of movie or TV shows have already banned the use of real live guns. Um, but I watched a show on Shutter called First Film. Mm -hmm. and the reason they um, have live guns on set is because of the way they fire. Yeah. It's, it's more realistic. So yeah. to use real guns on set. And even after what happened to Brandon Lee, which mm -hmm. happened with the prop gun, actually, and it was yep. because a bullet was lodged in the chamber and it split off in the split part, sh killed, shot him. I mean, well, went through his bulletproof mm -hmm. vest and pierced him because it was a jagged piece. They did a demonstration on this show and the actual props manager of that film did a demonstration of actually what happened on yeah. the, the set of The Crow. But this was not the same thing. Yeah, because um, that, that's that's a freak. That's like a freak accident. It like, is in like, exactly wow, the case, yes. you know, right? Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, Just, I mean, yeah, Stacy. Yeah, I agree. That's what I'm thinking. But not only that, you got to think about it. I just watched a, a little art, a video about the conditions on these sets now. And who's to say that the person who was supposed to check the gun didn't get their lunch break and didn't get a bathroom break and been on set for 17 hours. And you know and what I'm that saying? Was, that was the one thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So the whatever the investigation finds, we'll never know. Not for real. We're going to get half versions of the story but oh yeah you know, because they gotta clean it all up right because because it's not like random guy a shot the bullet alec freaking bought when yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> everybody knows who alec freaking baldwin is period His daughter is married to justin freaking bieber Dude. i mean like you know what i'm saying Dude. <laughs> and why, my whole thing is why i'm still confused is the fact that the cinematographer and the director are the ones who got injured on the set. That's Ooh. what's boggling my mind. Yeah, like where were they? Like what, what the hell, hell? man? Mm. Mm -hmm. Why would you yeah. use a gun that's gonna be used, uh, be used as a prop before the shot? I think it happens often, though, Stacy. Um, based off mm. that that documentary I watched, I think it's something that is regular practice. Um. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, it has to be a better way. Yeah. R.I.P. Miss Hutchins. Yes. As Nine Do said. Uh, Michael B. Jordan's Superman Project has found its writers. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium has yes. added Bill Murray to the cast in a secret role. But I thought everybody's role was a secret. Right. Uh, <laughs> at this point it's like 
<laughs> other than <laughs> than Paul Rudd, like everybody's like, what? <laughs> right, right. Um, a Quiet Places uh, has a video game in the works. I don't want to play that. Yo, I've never, <laughs> I still have never seen neither of the movies, but oh I, I know. <laughs> but I'm I'm thinking about a. I know the premise behind the movie and stuff like that. So just like I, I can imagine a game and man, if that's one game. Yeah, I feel the same way. Like I wouldn't want to play that game. It's like Splinter Cell and Sisters together. I don't know that's all I can think that. about. That's all I can think about. <laughs> Every time you move, you're gonna hear that deal. <laughs> <And then, laughs> now you gotta try to oh, no. but instead of like soldier walking slowly or semi running, it's gonna be a freaking monster running at monster like speed to uh -uh. kill you. Nah, fam. Oh, you. Nah, fam. <laughs> uh, nah, do quiet the quiet place. The quiet, the quiet place, place has a game, has a video game. In oh my gosh! So it may be scrapped. I think they should just do a. a a uh, uh, expansion pad there, like all of it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Where I'm at. Hey, Dad. Frazier will play villain in the DC Batgirl film. He on the come up. Bless mm -hmm. his heart. And finally, Hayden Christensen, Anakin Skywalker, before he and while he turned into Darth mm -hmm. Vader will be reprising his role as Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars TV show Ahsoka starring <laughs> Rosario Dawson. What? I can't remember her name. I can't remember her what? name. I imagine she can't remember <laughs> Rosario. You really did like <laughs> I can't remember her name. Yeah, I know what to put it out for either. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, nine nah, deuce. That's some crazy stuff right there. The, the Quiet Place game. Mm -hmm. All right. So that concludes. Ba 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 ba. Movie news. Oh. All right. So, oh uh, y'all, mm -hmm. man. So. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, <laughs> as we opened up, um, we are capping off the month of October with Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. This joint came out in 1995. It is um star-studded, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. we we like when out hmm, during this time with they Cause you know I'm like looking at it right, and I'm like, bro, like CCH Powder, yeah. I mean, bro. You know, like, clip. everybody from Whoopi Goldberg to Daniel Craig has appeared in an episode of, of Tales. It, yeah, it's so almost like yeah, is it like a rite of passage, almost like an SNL type vibe? Like <laughs> it's kind of like you know, it was well, it was a real respected show, and a lot of people okay. got their start. That's how Daniel Craig got his start that's mm -hmm. how Whoopi Goldberg became a little bit more uh -huh. mainstream a lot wow. of a lot of Ooh. big celebrities have been because it's a HBO show it's, it's, uh, it's produced by it's, HBO you know what? I totally forget that like I've I've seen so much of like when you've seen so much of a show Please, over a on time, you forget dang <laughs> yo I I don't remember I didn't remember that but yeah. you are correct though yeah, so it was a yeah. very respected well, show back in yo, the day. Well, I mean, it was it was definitely star studded, but to keep it simple, like uh as we all know, like Tales from the Crypt did a lot of anthology, they would tell a lot of different stories, but this just tells one, and it's uh very simple and short to the point. A man on the run is hunted by a demon known as the collector, directed by Ernest uh Dickerson, um, and it stars Billy Zane, which I absolutely love him. I've always loved him. Beautiful, like, beautiful, yeah, man. just a beautiful man. Hated him in uh, in 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 um, Titanic, but yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. He was an <laughs> asshole in that movie. Like he typically is. Like he he just has that about him. But like I still love him. Um, William Sadler, who plays Breaker, um, the lovely and most beautiful Jada Pinkin Smith as Geraldine. And I never uh, realized that was her name. 
<laughs> and then we have CCH Pounder, um, Thomas Hayden Church, who plays Roach. Like, it's just like uh, mm-hmm. the guy who played Uncle Willie. Like, mm-hmm. just like, damn, these were people that you've seen before. And yeah, because like, the dude who played Uncle Billy Willie was the guy who <laughs> died. He was an alcoholic, I think, in, yeah, yeah. in a leprechaun, too. And he died really a horrible death. <laughs> Right, a horrible. Time. But the dude who played Breaker, he passed away a couple of years ago, didn't he? Yo, I believe so. Hold on, let me double check. Wow, that's sad. He yeah, he I like he, he he plays a an asshole in a lot of films too. Actually, yeah, he will. True, that's yeah, true. I mean, I'm not saying he won an asshole in this, <laughs> but yeah, he, you know, he, he came you around. Know. Yeah, no, oh, that's funny. Oh Man. my god! Um, uh, wait, I had it on my thing. Let me see if I still got it pulled up. Yeah. Oh yeah, you right gonna try to check redemption. Oh man. no, I killed that man off. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I was sad. I killed him. I'm sorry to the man. <laughs> yeah, you may alive. have. He's still <laughs> alive. My bad. Son. But, my bad. Um, yeah, it, it. You know, tells from the crib, bro. Like you can never go wrong with a tells from the crib. Like, but it was so funny. I had just totally convinced myself that I had never seen this before, and as soon as it came, I was like, I've seen this. And then as it ended, I was like, oh, I definitely have seen it. I definitely watched it around this time on the holiday, like around this time, Halloween, like late night, probably on a Saturday. I've definitely seen this film, like for sure. It was memories were all coming back to me. (laughs) The words started coming back to me because that's how many times I didn't watch the damn movie. The words? Damn. Like scenes that I, I mean, I used I used to watch the movie a lot, like yeah. a lot. Yeah, when I was a kid growing up. I used to watch it religiously. It was one of the oh movies for me. But uh, I love how with the because they only had two. Well, they only had two films that came out in theaters back at that time. They have a few mm-hmm. more now, but it was Bordello of Blood, and then it was Demon Knight. Yeah. But I love how in both of those movies they start off with the Crypt Keeper doing what the Crypt Keeper always does. Mm-hmm. But it was always funny when I watched it when I was a kid. I was always like, like, especially when you rent it from the store and you look at the picture and then the movie star, you'd be like, this don't look like this. What is this? this is not the movie I've rented. No, this not, not, the not, not, oh, this is like, not the movie that I rented. What the hell? <laughs> but the beginning is also pretty scary as well until they tell you like cut and it's like oh the crib keeper was trying to scare no for, for real. real for real i was like yo 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 what is this <laughs> and then i'm like oh, okay okay and then it all co- start coming back to me and i was like i now i remember this now 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 it's making sense now it's making but I am so like a dad joke person because let me just tell you something. The crib keeper jokes, I be I die like I'm dying laughing. Like I die laughing. Yeah, like you're no I, I say you're no Gory <laughs> Coleman and bruh, no <laughs> bruh, all the dead dad dad jokes for real, for real. Like I, I remember laughing because it kept me from being scared. Oh my and it, gosh. and it would be times where I would be like, uh, you know, like, oh, that actually was a good joke. Like, he's really funny. <laughs> yes, the Crypt Keeper is hilarious. I actually the had the Keeper opportunity is absolutely hilarious to meet uh John Casser in person, like mm-hmm. about five years ago. Yeah, he's a very nice guy, and I had on a Simpson shirt, and um, you know, I was telling him how much I love Tales from the Crypt. And he was like, I've also done several voices on The Simpsons as well. But he didn't do like main character voices. He would yeah. do like Maggie and the dog and stuff like that. But like That's all like the early episodes of The Simpsons before he got uh-huh. Tales from the Crypt, he did a lot of uh, voiceover work on The Simpsons. That which is I thought so was cool. amazing. That is so cool. That is so cool. Yeah. I mean, it's classic though. Like, I mean, hearing the laugh. 
like the music, the 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 one take, like that whole vibe. I oh, man, I remember that vividly, and it brings back like a lot of good memories of like watching it. Because you're right, it was, de- I mean, obviously you're right about the HBO thing, but now I'm remembering how like, it was a lot of cursing and nudity and there were things that you weren't, su- like I remember like maybe possibly sneak watching that, like yeah, scaring myself because I'm a scary cat, but then also being like, I'm watching something I'm not supposed to be watching because it's like definitely rated R, definitely had mm-hmm. like said, the profanity, nudity, like, you yeah. know certain things that just like for my age it's like what are you doing like right 10 11 12 like you shouldn't be watching it by the time we was watching it on channel 20 after buffy it was in syndication and, that, but it w- and that's what i'm really remembering i'm really remembering that time for real for real but i do remember a very short lived time of watching it actually at a very young age um when when i probably shouldn't have been watching it <laughs> definitely definitely <laughs> <sighs> so this yes. movie is pretty cut and dry i mean yeah. you know it's just you know starts off with the car chase mm-hmm. after we get introduced to the story by the crypt keeper yep uh you know two guys on a car chase one guy just didn't realize he had no gas. The, the the convenience of it all in this movie was things that I realize now as an adult that it was like, so he ain't got no gas at what? all. Like like at all, there was no part in your journey that you were like, I need to stop at a gas station, and fill up. Like, <laughs> and you just realizing like you don't have no like you don't have. It wasn't like they showed it once and he was on E. <laughs> And then they showed it again and it was down. It was just down when they showed it. Like, it was just down. It was just E. E. Like, empty. what? Empty. <laughs> yeah, what? The cute the fairy tale show. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I definitely don't remember that. I don't remember that, but I barely had HBO growing up. So that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's a car chase. His right. car stops. Now they playing chicken. He can't get out the damn car. I don't know what the hell is going on. The car get crashed. But ain't nobody dead. Um, no, yeah, nobody dies. Like, and you're just kind of like, who? how do you survive something like that? Oh, these people are supernatural. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, growing up, like, I'm trying to, since I've seen the movie so many times, I just like think back to like my first times watching the movie. Like, what was I thinking when he was playing chicken with that car? Like, was I like, this man ain't gonna get out of the car? He crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell wrong with you, man? <laughs> yeah. Don't play with your life like that. <laughs> <laughs> so the one guy, because at this time we don't know who these people are, what the hell is going on. It's just like Ew, we're like into just- this story. And he ends up in Wormwood, New Mexico. Um, and he tries to steal someone's car. So he gets caught. So he runs away. <laughs> Again, just <laughs> perfect. Like, just perfect. And he meets a homeless man. Uncle Willie. <laughs> who shows him a place to stay for the night. Yeah. And I it's an old church. It's an old church <laughs> that done been turned into a, a, a hotelery. A little hotel, a little, a little Airbnb. <laughs> called the Mission. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the conveniency. Right. So this church is huge. And That's I always big. thought it was such a cool shot of them walking up to it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I also always wondered about this movie, like, okay, so is it gonna ever rain? Like, <laughs> like come on now. <laughs> like, I know sometimes it'll be thundering and lightning and it don't rain, but it don't do that all freaking night. Yeah, like you just don't have lightning that often and no rain comes after it. Yeah. You don't have thunder come that often and no rain, even if it rains for a couple of minutes, right? To make the ground wet. That just doesn't happen a lot, but boy, oh boy, it was a lot of. (laughs) (laughs) 
So we are introduced to a host of characters. A host the, of um, characters. You you um, see you already see what's happening off top. You yeah, got prostitute. The prostitute. You got the post black, office worker who got right, fired. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, what, what's my um? Uh, Jada is like like a con. You know, like a like work release, you get yeah. what I'm saying? Like she done did some time, so she there trying to stay out of trouble type vibes. Like, um, Geraldine, not Geraldine, uh, uh, CCH founder, uh, Irene, she's just, you know, just she's just the owner. Just, you know. but she that nosy. Oh, I don't want to know Lossy. problems, but I'll take your money mm -hmm. type person. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she was like, "We ain't got no room." My man pulled out this, pulled out this bankroll. She was like, "Oh, I, I can make an exception." My question was this: You said you don't rent out rooms short term. How many people stay here? How many people stay here? Like in Wormwood, New Mexico. Yeah, because she were they were talking because I remember them mentioning a couple of times of like how small the town is and like how it's not a lot, like. Yeah, like when Jada's leading him up to his room and there the two conversations are being had. The prostitute, uh, what is her name? Not Caroline. Claudine, Claudette, Claudia, Claudia. Um, Cordelia. Cordelia. <laughs> Cordelia is talking to the- Willie. Willie. Yeah, Willie about how small the no. town is in some like his that. name. Is it Willie? No, uh Wally. 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 <laughs> Wally. Wally. Lord have mercy. These poor people. <laughs> so yeah, she talking to Wally about how the town is small and you know it ain't nothing but this big. Geraldine's telling the same to breaker, like, you don't come here for the view, bro. Like, this ain't nothing special about this place. Right. Like, so if you here, you running away from something. Straight up, straight yeah. up, yeah. and so, yeah, it's it's it it's it seems to be going perfect. It seems like it's going to be a calm night. It's going to be a a night of people meeting each other, maybe you know, like okay, cool. But of course, in the midst of all of this, like we can't forget about the fiery crash that happened back there in the car that almost got stolen. Like people are like trying to solve mysteries and the police have arrived and they are here to solve said mysteries so and along with the collector beautiful popping out of a fire pop, what, popping out of a fire with a suitcase on some like <laughs> hello yeah he like where'd you come from <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite part the other guy they were going so fast on this freeway he's like well can't give him a ticket now <laughs> It was so many times. I was just like, this is written by a bunch of dads. <laughs> <laughs> so he come out the flames. Yep. And I'm going thinking back to my young self when I watched this movie. Like, I wonder if I was old enough to, like, start putting stuff together. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, was yeah, I like, like... He is of something else. You yeah. Know? Like, was I he like... Huh, how he's still alive? Or was I like, huh, I don't understand what's going on. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I was the former, and that's because I'm older. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a thought I had now. I don't remember what I thought when I saw this. I mean, I, I believe I was an adult even when I saw it earlier in life. And so, definitely that thought of like, hmm. He must be, you know, I mean, well, well, Breaker, they had showed the hand and, you know, you seen the stars. So you already knew that it, again, something else was happening. Something this isn't, is yeah, this isn't just like what it was being presented as is that somebody had something stolen from them. Like I'm going to get revenge, you know, <laughs> like, right. dude, he's, he's after him for a reason and it ain't the reason. You know, it's a reason that I don't think not a Cordelia, a Wally, a Uncle Willie, uh Geraldine and Irene Folks, can nobody will, nobody, the sheriff, nobody will understand. <laughs> and right. the last two people that you expect to come to with each other to team up is 
the person we're talking about who just comes from the fire, the sheriff, and he's like, yo, that person's a thief. I can help you find them. Like, we can do this together. I'm also the police. And it's like, oh, are you? Yeah, or you like, acquisitions or whatever. Which also just gives you, again, a feeling of this is a small town because only small town sheriffs can be duped like that. Like, Yeah, because they would have <laughs> checked his credentials from jump. Yeah, well, I mean, theoretically, they did check his true, his yeah, credentials. Yes, but I mean, you gotta think about it. It's 1995. That lady had to type on five, probably pull up 10 systems. She probably was in there. Okay, Sheriff, I'll call you back as soon as I know Sheriff, what's going on. <laughs> Sheriff, 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 are you there? Like, <laughs> Sheriff. Like, who knows how many times she tried before that? Like, yeah, like, Sheriff, that man is not who he says he is. I just typed on three different systems and I found out that he is not who he says he is. Like, Get damn. Out of there. Thanks for telling me now, bitch. <laughs> So this, this is through my face. <laughs> they go to where the car was stolen. They talk to yes. them people. He's not there. He would have been straight. But Irene was suspicious of him. Yes. So she heard about the car trying to be stole from Roach when he came. Yep. And she called the police on him. So Billy and the policemen came to the hotel. Yep. And that's you know what I forgot about this movie is how quickly it starts. Like they do a great job of telling you this, setting up the scene, introducing you to all the characters in there. Cause they got into it. Hold down, don't gown, boom, gown, boom, gown. <laughs> the whole time you got Brinker being like, yo, like what? Y'all don't, y'all don't get it. Y'all don't understand. So let me just like tell y'all without telling y'all, he ain't who he say he is. He is not a good man. Please don't throw me under the bus right now because all our lives are about to be in danger. Right. But the good guy looked like the bad guy and the bad guy looked like the good oh, guy. Man. Oh man. I tell you up until Billy did what he did. Like, I mean, because I know what I know, right. Cause all the movies started coming back to me, but I can tell you, I was, I still felt the energy of being like, <gasps> yeah, because that, that part is like, oh, oh mom. so, you know, the handcuff breaker, handcuff he breaker. asked him to find his key that he looking for. The key. So right. Willie, everybody is suspicious of breaker, obviously. Yeah, so they've been watching him since the moment he yeah. pulled up the joint, you know? Yeah, and I really think. Willie set him up to be honest because she he know how Irene is. Yeah. Cause he will he gave him up too easy. Too easy. I mean, she said it. She don't give out short term, you know. So she already knew if you only gonna be here for a couple of days, you know. I already right. probably know what you want. You pull out a big bankroll. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're well, not I'm trying to get the prostitute. Right. I'm yeah. Oh, that part yeah. was funny too when she was like, "Get that pussy off the table." And she got up. I was talking about the cat, <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, I was like they wild in this movie, yo. I just like how everybody had like these really funny, ridiculous lines, yo, <laughs> and everybody every had some. Yes, everybody had like those <laughs> moments. Oh my yeah. god, I'm gonna pull up a couple quotes. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> that's silly. So, yeah. So what happened? What's happening now? Oh, so he give him, so Willie give, Uncle Willie gives Billy Zane, or, well, he's trying to give Billy Zane the key and the he key, tells right, him to pour yes. out what's inside. Yes. In the midst of that, the police officer say, nah, because I just got some information about you. I'll take that. And he like, what? No, nah, neither both of them cars were stolen. So I don't think neither one of y'all who y'all say y'all is. But conveniently, yep. they only handcuffed one of them. Of course. So as they walking them out, everybody's standing there like, oh, these people is a mess. Mm -hmm. And they all, the officers like, sorry, guys. Sorry to make y'all night bad. We got it. We <laughs> got it. And then, pow, bang, boom. Billy Zane, punch. 
punches directly through the man's head, like straight through. But the funny part about it is his hand gets stuck in his head and he got to break his head off his body. Yeah, so it gives <laughs> it gives Breaker a little time to like, you know, get out of the cuffs, get a gun. Yeah, like the freaking handle, other cop get, can't even pull his gun out of his key, holster. Get the key back. Like, Bruhman had a checklist. Yeah, he really And no help, because everybody's just like, <laughs> Silent <laughs> screams, you know, loud screams, just shock. Like, what the? Everybody just <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Everybody, CC Pounder dropped that cigarette that Al Capone yeah, finally. Wood stick, <laughs> yeah. wood stick, you know, which at one point I thought was like a mole, a mole, a mole. A mole. I like, oh, when no, I was a kid, I always thought that was a mole. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Damn. Like, and I'm like, oh, that ain't a mole. That's a girl on that chewing on a wood stick. Lord have mercy. Why did they make that woman do that? But maybe know. she was trying to kick cigarettes. That was the thing. She was probably trying to kick cigarettes. Like, yeah. So my fa one of my favorite parts happens now. Mm -hmm. Basically, Breaker gets the thing. He puts it on Bill Lane's face. He drops ah. it on. And then, like one of my favorite scenes happens where he does his whole "I'm tired of this poke down, poke down, poke down that shit." shit. <laughs> what is it? What is it? The quote. <laughs> 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 fuck this cowboy shit. <laughs> you fucking hold down, poke down, well, them there motherfuckers. <laughs> All you have to do is give me the goddamn key. <laughs> Yo, I was rolling. And then what he say next? He say, I consider, what do you say? I consider this place condemned. And condemned. Condemned. Now, what I will say. Word now. <laughs> these were some of the. This is the nastiest but also coolest scene because I have never seen demons that have so many different personalities and jewelry. And like it reminded me of like a mixture of like Mortal Kombat meets like, I don't know. What was the other thing that I said? I should have wrote Maybe it like down. some type of vampire movie, I'm thinking. Like Yeah, but like it was really cool how every demon had like their own personality and had their own style. Yeah, it didn't seem like it was a repeat of the same monster. Like they all had like different, maybe even attack styles, you know. Yeah, <laughs> like like, like once and everyone was, was just different. Like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they all had like personalities and everything like mm -hmm. that. So then Utter chaos ensues. The demons start coming in the house. Everybody running. People getting thrown left to right. My other favorite part is as the demons is coming through the front door, Jada Pickett and Uncle Willie decide they want to go through the back door and the demon come through the door and grab Jada Pickett and she just <laughs> It was like you know like you learn behind the scenes. I don't know any like behind cool behind the scenes facts about this movie, but I, what I do know about a lot of behind the scenes, you know, fun facts about mo movies like this is that I've learned that typically they don't tell people when things are going to happen so they can get natural acting, you know, natural reactions out of the actors. And that right there seems like they didn't tell her. Like they maybe told her like, oh, they're just going to come up the stairs and be like this. And then they start and Charles is going to be grabbed. It's there is never a moment I watch that scene and I don't die laughing hysterically. So like, I was cracking up too. She was like, Lah! I'm like, I don't think he is going to be able to kill you because you're so slippery. You're moving so much. You're moving a lot. You're moving so much. I, he's not going to be able to handle it. Bro, she does Ooh. that well though. Like, cause that also reminds me of her scene in Scream, where she's like, ah! <laughs> Bro, that's why she's an amazing rock star. <laughs> that girl ain't no joke. Ooh. I'm so sorry. I can't stop <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, it is. I'm hot. I'm getting hot. Lucky. That is a funny scene. That is a really funny scene. Ooh, okay. Yeah. 
I'm Ooh, right there with you. I gotta right. take a yeah, it's just a breather. It's just a moment. But yes, that but look, what just like a black, just like black folk, you know, just like an old person to think like they they, they at the front, let go through the back. Like <laughs> right, but I kept saying, I mean, they all around. I mean, yes, they did get their logical. Yeah, there is there is no word. You gonna break make a run for it and it's demons. Oh man. So. Oh, are these <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen this movie? Oh my god. I don't care if you ain't never seen this movie. Pull okay. that clip up on Pull YouTube. Pull that clip up. <laughs> Lucky, you should just go ahead. Ooh, I can't watch it again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't watch it again. <sighs> Oh man, please. <laughs> oh, uh, Jada Pickett. I don't know. Jada Pickett and Look, Demon Knight, like screaming or something. I don't yeah, know. The like, yeah. attacking <laughs> Jada Pickett and Demon Knight. <sighs> Bruh. Okay. Yeah, oh my God. Oh, so <clears throat> the demon's coming in. He's shooting their eyeballs out and lightning coming out right. of their eyeballs. We're, we're, we're not we're realizing very quickly, like that. Okay, that, you know, very you gotta shoot the zombie in the head, you know what I'm saying? Vampires stake in a heart, you know, like we realize that, right? Ooh, <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. I'm gonna see if I yes, can find please, it. Please, 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 please. Oh man. So uh <clears throat> all of a sudden, breaker. Open up the cap to the freaking uh key and start sealing everything. And you're like, nigga, why you didn't do this when you first came in this bitch? Yeah, like what the hell was you doing, man? You, you should have been doing this. Damn. Oh my god. So he's sealing the windows, he's sealing the door. And then you see that they can't get in if he seal the doors and stuff. Right. So it's like, oh, damn, what's in there? It kind of looked like blood. But I mean, what blood can do all of that? Right. What blood got that kind of power? So now it's just a free for all of people trying to figure out how they're going to get out of this house. How are they going to do? We got to get through the night, but it yeah. just turned night. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, that right. was what Break Breaker constantly said that throughout the film. Just got to get through the night. Just got to get through the night. Yeah. But of course, like, you know, he's trying to keep it calm where, he, you know, he, again, he's revealing things one by one by one. And everybody's learning things one by one by one. And just like, okay, what do we, what's the next step for survival? What's the next step for survival? And Breaker, who seems to have the most power and the most knowledge, it is keeping all the shit to himself not telling any of us really like what we should like you know like because he's also having his own turmoil his own inner turmoil with this this uh i guess this job that he has had as the key keeper like i don't i don't even right i don't know if i didn't pay enough attention or i didn't hear i, I never heard the title of what he his job. Oh, he's a demon knight. He's a demon knight. Okay, okay, okay. That's I don't know. Demon knight and not demon. Oh, he's a demon knight. knight. I thought like a demon knight. <laughs> he's a demon <laughs> knight. God, yes, he's okay, a demon that knight. makes sense. Uh, duh. Oh, okay. I found it. <laughs> oh, good, great. great. I, found it. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to hear the audio though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because that's that's really kind of what makes it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, <laughs> oh, hearing man. that scream is like, <laughs> bro. It, okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to pull play it. Later, drop it. the link. <laughs> oh, I dropped the link so y'all can drop watch the link. Drop stuff. the link. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah, so he's <laughs> dealing with his own turmoil and having flashbacks, and I mean, just. All type of stuff where you're like, yeah, but you're going back to the Lord Jesus sacrifice. Well, I was like, when I, I said seen sacrifice, me. crucifixion. Yes, when I seen that, I was like, oh Lord, what is this about? What is this about? What does this have to do with the story? What <laughs> is this? And it's like, uh, like you know, you start to realize that this is 
you know, the since the beginning of time type shit, where it's like, this thing just happened yesterday. You know, this yeah. has been happening hundreds, thousands, millions, eons, centuries, you know. <laughs> so <clears throat> he basically tell them that anything can be possessed by them. So he going yep. around, the cat come back in, he trying to, you know, put the key on the cat and make sure they find another mm -hmm. opening in the basement. But he like, no, nah, we're not going to leave. The best thing we can do, excuse me, is stay in the house. Right. So he also tell them, though, like, they can't possess you. He can come to you. So y'all just got to be careful, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, okay. He's going to so, tell them a little bit, you know. Yeah, but, but he don't really tell them enough for them to really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not. Really grasp. Yeah. Because, they, I mean, you seeing demons, but you also kind of like, I'm just trying to get out of here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because this ain't yeah. really got even anything to do with me. I just so happened to be here, which is what yep. Roach kept saying. And Roach and Cordelia was like dating, even though she was a prostitute. But Wally really loved her or whatever. He so really loved her. Roach convinced Claudia to leave out the front damn dough. Huh. And the demons popped up like, hello, motherfucker. Like that <laughs> came out. <laughs> It was like the moment the idea came up to like we can get there quick enough. I'm like, do y'all see how quick these demons move? Like, you Stacey not want to watch it with us? Let me see if I can. Oh yeah, it. let me see if I can do it. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm gonna try to do it. So let's just keep talking it out. Yes. So it. so yeah. So we see like Cordelia tries to go out with Roach. We see that why you know, like Wally does what he has to do to save baby girl. Cause Cordelia, um, he all uh, Roach sacrifices her, like basically like kind of pushes her, doesn't try to save her. And she get caught up by the demon. And then they pull up, you know, my man's pull out the gun while he pull out the gun and he shoots the demon everywhere, but the eyes. And then we realize the eyes is where it's at. If you didn't mm -hmm, pick up mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. was shooting, but now he like verbally says it. So we're all taking in that information. But unfortunately when the demon gets shot in their eyes, they shoot out this, like very powerful striking like piece of lightning and it hits Wally right in the chest like hit him in the chin like a pull up and yeah. pull him back in and had to pull him back in and you know we're realizing you know like Cordelia's realizing that like Wally is really the one you know what I'm saying like <laughs> look how he'll put his life on the line for you you know uh, we thought Wally was gone but he came back uh, but yep. unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> we learned very quickly that uh he is going to die for the love of his life <laughs> yeah pretty much because cordelia was one of the first people mm -hmm. that the collector came to from yep. outside in her dreams or in her daydreams or whatever and convinced her to give up her soul i guess yep and so the collector does a, <clears throat> an amazing job uh AKA Billy Zane. Well, one, like the collector's job, right? And this thing that it has that it can, the way that it can entice you by basically giving you things that you long for and the fantasy and making, you know, just like being able to look into you and see your deepest desires. And although we just saw Willie do one of like the most courageous acts of love for Cordelia. Um, that was probably her first time ever seeing that, but she used it as a moment to kind of show Roach, like, look what, that's mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do, instead of realizing why Wally did that in the first place. Right, but she, he didn't, care. Roach didn't care. Roach didn't give a damn, you're a prostitute. Like, he was getting put in for free. Like, right. Right. you know what I'm saying? From one of the nastiest, freakiest girls around. So, right. um, you I know, the she, video now. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I was <laughs> going up. crazy at the door. Crazy at the door, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's see if it works. <laughs> this is like, really, bro? Why you didn't do that when you posted it? Right. Here she go. Hurry up, hurry up. Man, talk about ugly. Yeah, cause William. Oh, and there you go. And Ooh. there you 
<laughs> and there you go. You're a freaking classic. What the hell is that? <laughs> Demon, Knight. <laughs> Demon Knight, bro. Demon Yo. Knight. 1995. Tales from the Crypt presents. Yo, presents. <clears throat> So, okay. So, yes, Cordelia is the first to become possessed. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's what Jada said. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the lines in this movie, like when something happens, somebody was like, oh, damn. <laughs> no. Like, whoa. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That was one that kept happening. For real. Oh, damn For real. it. <laughs> For real. Um, so yeah, like, oh yeah, so he is, the collector is able to use their powers to tap into the greatest wants and needs of everybody, right? And Cordelia is the first. And so Cordelia, obviously like, you know. She desires love. She she wants to be loved. You know what I'm saying? You know, what, what more does a, we know that's what a prostitute probably most likely, you know, like they need love. So they find it through physical, sexual things. Right. And man, like the scene of the, you know, like that shit was so cold to me, like the wiping of the tear and like he, she felt it even though he was out the window and obviously you can't get into the house and so he's just like let me in let me in let me in um and then he possesses her mm -hmm. and, and he heals Wally. but of course, of course we don't see the possession we just <laughs> the scene just cuts and Wally steps into the scene and now we're like oh man like if you can because catch she him, got a whole different vibe when he coming in she Hello, got a Wally. Whole like she, I'm like, wow, she about to give Wally some, and I was like, oh, because that's not because she not. Mm -hmm. mm. Damn. So then they hear some screaming come from downs upstairs. So now they all running upstairs, and this is the part where they open the door, and Roach was like, oh damn. <laughs> because baby girl is eating at Wally's face, right? Right. But the funny part about it was it's not like they show him saying, oh, damn. They show what was happening and he just off camera talking about, oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, they had to have so much fun on that set. Just like, they probably just was like, yes, just say whatever, y'all. Like, <laughs> like, but, but you might be right. Maybe what if they didn't tell them what they were seeing? Like, what yeah. if they Walked in. I mean, can you imagine how you would feel even if you was on a movie and you walked into this big ass woman who tongue hanging down here and because you know them was animatronics, they didn't have oh, yeah, totally. to <laughs> <Totally. laughs> and then nobody still know how to shoot a gun. No, like this is the most like unprepared group of people. Once again, the convenience, bro. Just like the most unprepared group of people, like the most you could just tell the craziest thing that happens in their town is like a tree getting hit by lightning, like, <laughs> like a cat so, getting stuck up in a tree type shit. <laughs> right. So CCH Pounder trying to shoot the gun. She get her arm. She didn't get her arm broken. She got her arm broken off. Clean. Clean. Like clean, clean cut. Just <laughs> sick. Oh man, her, her reaction too. Oh, ah! no. ah! 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 Her character you. got so much more funnier after she lost. Or, oh my god, <laughs> so much more funnier. Like it's like, I mean, you don't have an arm. You're. <laughs> And you, you might as well death. take it there. And you're you, bleeding to death. And you're bleeding to death. You might as well. they would have put like something hot onto the stove, they could have stopped the bleeding. They could have. They could have. But I don't think nobody was thinking. Mm -hmm. And then remember, like, and it's so funny that you say that because, God damn it, I was like, if I hear about this stove one more time, <laughs> like, Crazy that you say that because she was on Jada about cleaning that damn stove. Yes, she was. 
So she lost her arm. Now they yep. all like, we got to get out of here, Mr. Breaker, man. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Breaker does kill Cordelia. Like, so. Oh, you know. yeah. Kill Cordelia. Yep. Wally dead. Wally dead. So that's two down. And CCS Pounder, I mean, CCS Pounder don't have no damn arm. And she doesn't have an arm. So it's like, God damn, like we losing people. I don't think we're going to be able to make it through tonight. Like, so let's try to get the hell out of here. Let's try to get up out of here. So they go downstairs, <laughs> try to get out. They go through the mines, find out Uncle Willie owned the mines at one point, but don't know. Okay, that's a whole nother thing. So right. they go through the mines. Jada Piggy hears somebody. It's the little boy from earlier. Right. The, His that parents then got carpet. caught up. Yep. That right. sip snitched on Breaker. Yep. His parents got caught up. They demonized. Mm. And now they running because mm. they got to go back. So, yeah. you know, they seal it. He like, we chilling. We good. Here comes stupid Roach again. Now you find out another level to the game. Yes. If yes. you shoot through a barrier, the barrier is no longer active. Well, hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> so now they didn't run. I had to run all the way upstairs because they didn't infested the whole house. Now, Lord the have mercy. Church, hotel. So now Breaker, you know, CCS pounding like. The liquor is hitting me now. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> the vodka is kicking in. <laughs> that's how she said that shit, so man. Is, this is when he tells the story, right? Yes. This is yes. when she, he tells the story. She's like, well, at least you could do is tell us what's going on. Her whole voice changed. Everything. She's like, the vodka's kicking in. I'm like, <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so he tell them that the demons was on the earth before God said, let there be light. Mm -hmm. Um, They had keys that could keep the world in darkness. They went all over the planets and they found all six keys and the seventh key was on earth, so now they're here to get it. But uh, you know, the, the key was given to a thief who mm -hmm. had put and they put the blood of Jesus in it to protect us, right. so they couldn't just pick the key up and take it wherever they wanted to go because they can't touch it because it's got the blood of Jesus in it. Yes. So they never said Jesus, they said a carpenter. But we are yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> so he actually got chosen by a man in the war. I believe it was World War One. Yes, you are correct. And he got blood from him because the, the other chosen ones will refill the, the key. key when it runs low. Mm -hmm. So now he's here trying to save the world once again. But this is his final stand. But yep. we don't know that yet. Yeah, we don't we don't know that, but yeah. And mm -hmm. in scary movies, for some odd reason, whenever they're telling an origin story, somebody always wanders off. Oh man. <laughs> it's just like there's always that one person who just like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about this damn story. I do not care about this story. <laughs> there is nothing in this story that means anything to me. And of course, it's the youngest of the bunch. Mm -hmm. It's the child on a mission to find a, a child. Yeah, because you can't leave an orphan child, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, you can't just be like, man, that's his life. You <laughs> <laughs> you gotta so, like, maybe if you're like a teenager, you know, but like you know how it is. Like when the youngest of the group gets away, you're just like, damn. Yeah, can anyone help? What about the children? Does anyone think of the children? <laughs> so, so yes, they, they trying to find the baby. They trying to find the chilling. Now, how did Roach die? Well, oh, oh, Roach oh, oh. this bitch ass. So much like when people all go on the mission to do the greater good, there's always that one person that decides, like, you know what? I'm gonna hang back and fuck up everybody's plan that they're doing right now. And that's oh, what Roach does. Key. He, yep, he takes the key from Breaker. 
in there. They going because to Breaker got a lot going on. Yeah, like, he really do. Because now he got to find his child, Danny. Right. So I can't remember where they found him at. I think Was Uncle Willie found the him. No, nah, they because they couldn't go downstairs no more. He found him in one of the rooms. He, yeah, he found him. Yep, he found him in one of the rooms. But Uncle Willie found him. Uncle and Uncle Willie came in the room after he found him, and he was getting a accosted by Mr. Yep. Billy Zane. Yep. Wow, y'all silly in his chat. Yes. Y'all silly in his chat. Yeah, y'all are dog. <laughs> dog. Dog for real, especially kids that don't have nothing to do with you. Like I, I mean, I just said that watching a scary movie, and everybody looked at me. I was watching Paranormal Activity too, and that little baby. Cause they want the little baby because the go the win- witch ladies, you know, sold the baby soul, the firstborn son sold to the devil, and they didn't have any sons in the family, so it took like three or four generations for them to have it. So at the, you know at the end of the movie, the demon comes upstairs, take the baby out the crib. They in the basement. They basement is like a hoarder's basement. They got box stacked up to the ceiling every which way. It's a maze. That woman saw that baby walk downstairs. Uh, in somebody's arms that was not there, she could have walked out of all the doors. She went down in that damn basement to find that baby. I said, "F that baby, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. It's nothing you can do. The baby <laughs> has already been chosen." <laughs> and everybody goes so. So now, whenever we watching a scary movie and it get intense, and I'm like, "Oh no!" Everybody just be like, "F that baby." <laughs> Them kids, bro. And them kids. Stacey Imagine crazy. seeing it and then having it. Next. <laughs> I gotta go back for my baby. Oh my god, that lady was crazy. You know what? Guess what? The lady died, and the demon walked out the front door with the baby. Anyways, because guess anyway. what? The baby been chosen, and that's what happened. You gotta understand that baby was chosen from that birth. Baby was chosen before birth. So, like, we see that Wally has an issue with drinking because that's where he found Danny, right? He found Danny in the attic or, or yeah. room. Yeah, yeah, I think he, it was the attic. And then he, they, because remember they was up there and they found out that, like, Wally had a. a oh, yeah, he really gun. was trying to shoot. He really was stealing people mail and he planned on killing everybody <laughs> at the post office. Which was really, really funny, which ended up being like really, really hilarious because you, you thought Wally was such an innocent man and a beautiful man. And, you know, you, you just you thought like he just wanted to do the right thing. and He wanted to probably like marry Cordelia. But of course he had such. Of course he, he wasn't right up there. <laughs> so they up there sifting through the attic, finding the different things. And, you know. Wally gets in the, in, you know, he gets a Hooters. He go to Hooters. Hooters. Titties everywhere. Everywhere. All fake. Everybody. I feel like Everybody. every woman's it was... breast assist in that scene was not real. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. They were like, Willie, what's up here? here? Oh my God. Like, oh, have whatever you want. Like, Billy Zane as the freaking bartender. Like, just great like that character that he put on every time the the fantasy that he brought to everybody's moment like was so good but we forgot that he tried to come to jada in a fantasy he oh he did did come to her in a fantasy And and she and this is where she showed some kind of like resilience like we like we say you never see the position possession happen until you see that they have been possessed until you right. see the green eyes until you see them attacking or hurting someone so we see her after billy zank comes to her the collector comes to her we see her just kind of walking around in a daze like there sometimes and not there sometimes and like the moment you see her there is like oh where's danny okay y'all let's all go get him but you're always wondering like is this just her to get them somewhere to mess them up like what's taking so long because every time we see anybody go through this fantasy with the collector they they are possessed but and we, we also know that was the only person that we saw resist that was the only person we saw actually resist oh at that time because at the next time, person that's to what resist she right yeah, that's right. what she believed you know so then 
in the midst of because all this stuff is happening simultaneously. CCH yes. Pounder and the other cop is finding that stuff. Yep. Uncle Willie and the little boy is is in the room, and the boy looking at him like it is nothing in this room, bro. What are you looking at? Right. Uh uh <laughs> Jada Pickett and Breaker are looking for Billy and Willie. Yes. And <laughs> and Roach is wiping off the blood on the steps. Yes. Letting Billy Zane come through. Right, because he wants to make a deal. Right. So I believe at this same time, Uncle Willie then went crazy and got possessed. Yep. And the demons is coming up the stairs. They didn't kill Uncle Willie. Yep. They done shot Billy Zane in the eyeball. Yep. CCH Pounder was asked by Billy to, you know, give up everybody. And he gave her an arm, but she said no. Yes. And her and the cop, so when all the demons came upstairs, decided they were going to sacrifice themselves to protect. Right, because although the gun, all those weapons that Wally left by back, they didn't have bullets in them, but it was a, a, a vest of grenades. <laughs> I just saw the comments. Oh my God. He couldn't possess Jada because Jada doesn't love herself and that's why she can't love Will. Oh, well, next rave. <laughs> Stacy, I love you so much. You, you are like, hilarious, bro. Like, absolutely hilarious. <laughs> that's a good one. That that's a good one. one. So yeah, like, uh, yo, that was like an action-packed moment. Like, all of that was oh, happening. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, Roach, like... Yeah, he died he, because... He, he dies he, because the, the collector is a liar. Billy Zane mm -hmm. is lying. He's not... We start saying this man's name, like, his name is... <laughs> his, 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 that's the actor's name. But his name is the collector, but nobody ever calls him that, like... No. That's Reason. just the name. That's why we're well, like, yeah, Zane. But he's just like, he's a liar, so you know he's gonna kill you. And so now we are at the moment of yes, like yeah, this, this is, is the final stand, actually. This is final, like the final stand. Like final either stand. they gonna die all die right here and the yep. world gonna go into darkness, yep. or we gonna make it another day. So like, end up getting the key back. You know, CCH Pounder and the officer sacrifice themselves. They use the grenades and blow up the mm -hmm. demons and they seal off the room and they all the way up in the attic now. And here go little Danny. Well, in the midst of that, Jada Pickett and, and Breaker talking and he just like, girl, eyes tied. You know, <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time, since 1917, honey. Yeah, you've been and, going at uh, I need you to take this here key from me. And she like, excuse a moi, uh, sir, I'm not taking this key. And he like, right. yeah, you, you the chosen one. Yeah, like I, I'm realizing it right now. You are the one. Like, who the hell told you that? Well, didn't he come to you? Did he possess you? No, I resisted, but that don't mean I'm not take it. Take this key. In the midst of that. Danny then found a comic book mm. and that was his way in. That was Billy Zane's way into the child. That was Billy Zane's way in. And oh my God, it happens quick. But it also is wild as hell. Like, <laughs> yeah, the way that they're matching it up with, you know, a page is turning and what's happening in the real world, it's happening yeah. in the comic book. And it's just like, oh my yeah, God. Oh my yeah, God. and he like killing him and he turned into this big monster and then he throw, she throw him out the window and the boy explode into pieces. And it was a hot ass mess. Bruh, like. <laughs> and Breaker got jabbed, stabbed with a hand. He oh, didn't need what? a knife. He jabbed oh. and then stabbed. He oh. said, Ow. Uh, with them nails. That's jab stab. Y'all didn't know. Jab stab. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get jabbed. You can get jabbed and stabbed with a knife. Or you can get jabbed and stabbed with some nails. Right. So like, I know like if you're listening and you've never seen before, you're thinking like, oh, okay. So like she threw Danny out. Cool. He gone. All right. Uh, uh, Breaker, you know, is, is dying, but he's already given her the key. And now she's the new demon knight or guardian of the key right okay cool but it's like 
never forget the collector, Mr. Billy Zane, is still around and everything has been there's no safety anymore. And she's so new to this that guess what happens? She gets scooped up into his world. Right. But she had a plan. She had a plan. She took it's that, this, that blood. It's this, yeah, it's this moment where she, before the key is taken away from her, she drinks some of the blood. Wait, well, wait, she, wait. He ingests the blood. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, what before that she covered herself in the blood she covered oh yeah yeah well he covered her in the blood too at one point remember in the attic well he just put a lid on her hand he just she put covered a her whole she pulled a walk you right you right cover herself in the blood so he couldn't touch her you right you're right and then he hit her with a shower curtain <laughs> then he hit her with the shower curtain and cleansed her <laughs> And then, because I'm gonna say, hold on, but then how was he able to? Oh yeah, a duh. Yeah, he hit her with the shower. And that was the moment where the she ingested and just the blood. blood. Yeah, the she put one, the blood okay. in her mouth. The and last then, one. Yep. Yeah, he, you know, having this whole elaborate scene with her talking about how he loved her and because he, he, he just wants, yeah he, 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 he and you could he, love, he, love, he, love, he did a great job. Yo, he was so good and you know i don't know if it's like i don't know what part of me like is i don't know if it's like because i'm attracted to billy zane or like is there when i think of movies i'm always like i want to be bitten by a vampire i want to be turned you know like I, you know like yes i will be your demon tris, demon stress or whatever <laughs> like i yes i will lead into this life with you like i don't need to be the guardian i would, I would love somebody to bite me on my inner thigh okay you talking about it okay i want that in my life don't bite me up here <laughs> make it sexy <laughs> Vampire, but make it sexy. <laughs> I got veins all over. Bite me on my inner thigh, right there. Ooh, ooh, no, right there. That, to that. That, that was a. Uh, that's how they was biting the girls in uh James Carpenter vampires. Oh they was, my god! They weren't bite because they didn't want people to see the bite marks on. Yes, the so they were doing it. So on, they was biting yeah. them in the inner thigh. Yeah. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's so good, so good. But yeah, he's like tempting her. He like, girl, like you could come. <laughs> he like, girl, you could come have a life with me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you, you can come and have a life with me. Let's do this. But you know, she is quiet, and she's not quiet for no reason because she ain't nothing to say. Remember, she said she ingested that blood. Baby girl got a mouth full of the blood and we know that she's just waiting for the perfect moment mm -hmm. to literally spit in his face which mm -hmm. she did she already did so it was yeah. not nothing different man she spit in that man's face and, and he, he just was, combusted he was just like giving me like Remember when the 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 scorpion roaches and mummy would get in your body and, and crawl under like, your skin? Yeah. It reminded me of that. Yeah, moment. until his whole damn face I, just yeah, came until apart. like his face like, actually started to peel out and, and like <laughs> so like yeah. like then it got really really nasty. Like whoa, this guy is dying um, really hard he, right he, now. He, yep, yep. Ooh. So he became his actual form and he was destroyed and he was done. Right? Wait a damn minute, what? Right. <laughs> oh, when you was talking about you. Oh, it got a little X. Your inner thigh bites. It got a little X rated. It got, <laughs> it got a little sexy time. <laughs> spooky but sexy. Even sex. Well, if it's one thing that spooky is, it's sexy. Yeah, you feel me? Low key. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, it was walking high. around with a beater on, some underwear on, no bra on, okay? For the whole like last 10, 15 minutes of the movie. I was like, if that's why not horror. I, I was like, why am I kind of turned on? This scene is like got me kind of like, girl, do come on. It's not horror if they're not over sexualizing women. <laughs> you damn right. I mean, the movie opened up with a some titties. <laughs> yeah, like just straight up, like water over every part of her body but the titties. But the titties. 
<laughs> and like the titties kind of jiggling, like somebody was over on the side. I'm just doing like this, like, looking at them, like, like every time she talked, she was like, I don't understand. Oh shit. So Billy Zane died. He's gone, and we're just like, yes. Nice morning. Nice it's morning. morning. And we fought the night away. <laughs> It happened. And now we can't turn back the hands of time. <laughs> <laughs> it is so true because you can't. Is. No. <laughs> but the good thing about Jalen is like she learned lessons. And mm -hmm. my favorite part of the ending is when baby girl gets onto the bus. She said, wait a second. She, she makes sure she laughs. She said, wait a second. And she seals the door mm -hmm. to make well, sure. I don't think Breaker would have did that. Breaker wouldn't have done that because if Breaker would have all thought of those things, he would have done that everywhere he went. Right. He would have so got there. He would have dropped it right at the door because then they, you know, then he would have like. He wouldn't even been able to get in. He wouldn't have been able to even get in. Yep. Simple as that. Yep. And if you show me that, like, you can protect us with blood, then I think the police would have went a little bit softer on him, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, or if the guy would have just been like, oh, I can't come in there. Man, why are you acting so weird? He would just punch mm -hmm. the man in the face then, and it would have been the then. Face then, and we would have known, yeah. and then we would have known. And it would have just like, oh. But, you know, you, you, you think, like, oh, she's off off to a life and i mean and it does happen like that but m one of my my second favorite moment of the ending is that the bus stops again at a mysterious person and you see them with the suitcase and you're like oh shit like you already it's already cluing mm -hmm. in like this is the new collector and this old denzel washington looking at a motherfucker come up on the screen mm -hmm. and uh he kind of just looks you know looks and around looked and like he looked up i'll wait for the next one <laughs> and then they both just kind of stare at each other. Mm -hmm. And then he follows the bus. Yeah, but Walking. my favorite part about that too is he was whistling the uh, theme song too. Tell us what theme song. And that and that is the end of the Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Night, a classic. Technically, technically, a, technically, technically. Technically, yes, yes, yes. Because you know the Crypt Keeper had to come back. Yeah, the Crypt Keeper had to come back. He Leave has some, with that dad he some joke. with him. <laughs> I'm just like... With a dad joke. I'm like, do these girls know that this is... But it's the Crypt Keeper. I guess, I guess. I always was... thought the Crypt Keeper was a lady, and I think until that movie. Really? Yes. Until that movie, I... I didn't think that the Crypt Keeper was a dude. Hmm. I always like, yeah, I don't it was it the high octave? Like was it I the mean high? the long hair, the, the long the, hair, the, the, the lightest of the bluest of the eyes, the, the okay. high pitched voice, yeah. the robe. Yeah. Oops. I can see it. I can like, see it. I can always see it. with the robe on, you know what I'm saying? I can saying? see it. I can see it. In the bathtub, talking to like you know what I'm saying? You're so cute. Drinking the wine, like candles lit, you know? Like, Yo, the crew keeper did used to set the mood, like just to scare okay. the hell out of me. Like, like, what's a good, what's a good horror version of self care? Like, what's a good, like, I'm trying <laughs> to think of a scary term that you could use for like self care. Like, if anybody can think of anything in the chat, man. Like, like uh, I can't think of anything. Damn, <laughs> that's when you need the crypt keeper because he. Man, that's when you need the crypt keeper because he would have something. He would totally. That would have came to him so. Man, so naturally. No, it. <laughs> but yeah, it, I really did end that movie with a smile on my face. <laughs> like, yes, oh. I was laughing so loud. I was laughing so loudly. Man, <laughs> but uh, you know, there was nothing to. I mean. Again, I was having so much fun watching it. I I kind of slipped on the quote, but like I have one, 
But like, I probably could have found something mm-hmm. better. But this is about as best as it's gonna get. Cause wh- the thing that I love the most was how the collector could tap into the things that you love the most. And I, I wish I don't know if it was something that was there about that. But like, I thought that that was really cool. But basically, uh, here, here's, here's the quote. Um, when the stars line up, you'll know what to do. I can't tell you how long. It may be a lifetime, maybe several. On that day, you'll fight. And when that night is over, you'll do what I just did. Watch your back, Gerald. Watch your back. And this is Breaker to Geraldine. Mm-hmm. Basically, mm-hmm. he's passing on the key to her. And that is a very important moment. And it is really like, I know that we was like giving Breaker a lot of shit for like, like teetering along and not giving everybody the things that like, like huddling up and being like, look, if we're going to get through this night, this is the things that y'all need to know and giving them like piece by piece and when it was meant to be or at the most impromptu time. But when he gave that key to her, that was absolutely like the best advice you could give. Like, I don't know when the time is going to come. Like you see what I just been through. Like, look where we're at. But let me tell you this, when it come, you're going to have to fight. And right. when it's all over, you'll have to do what I do. You'll have to find somebody to pass this over to. So we, we don't lose. Right. You know? So with great, with great power comes, what is it? With great power, power strength, comes, comes great responsibility. responsibility. So that was her moment. And that's how, that's why I enjoyed how she ended with covering the bus because that meant that she, she was she ready. understood the assignment. She understood, she understood <laughs> the assignment. And, um, you know, and then also something powerful about a black woman, you know, like being, yes, being black. the leading lady who survives in a horror film in 1995, which I believe probably hadn't been done since jo- George Romero's Night of mm. Living Dead. When a black man, well, he didn't survive. My bad. He was the last one to live, but the cop shot him in the head. Thanks. So, mm, and that's just so powerful. That's a powerful. Film. It is. It truly mm. is. It truly is. And that's- a film, hands up, don't shoot, still shot that man. The movie is black and white, hmm. and a lot of them actors were blacklisted after it. I met the cop who who pulled the trigger uh-huh. years ago, and that's what he was telling me. He was telling me that a lot of those actors who worked on that Night of Living Dead film were blackballed because of the message that it sent, li- mm-hmm. letting a black man be the last surviving character wow. in a horror film or any film for that matter. Wow. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, that's, you know, a movie like this, you can easily take for granted, but when you hear a story like that, or you think about our history in the world of Hollywood period, you understand why just even a small moment like that is so, so important and why it shouldn't be overlooked. And I think it's easy for somebody like Jada, like, you know, to not want to give her her flowers, uh, you know, <laughs> although she's done such amazing things, she's not like the best actress in the world, but you know, but um <laughs> But no, Stacey, it was like, when did Night of Living Dead come out? It's a black and white film. Yeah. It wasn't about the it wasn't it was about the black man being the lead. It was about him getting shot at the end by the police. The first time I watched that movie, it blew 1968. My, that movie blew my mind. It was right after um first time I watched it was right after um Trayvon Martin got shot. Mm. And that movie blew my mind. Yeah, I didn't know that. I definitely didn't know that. That makes me almost want to watch it just because of that. Like, it's a very powerful film. That's why it's considered one. Of, it's not only one of the best horror films. Yeah, from most like, people's point of view, it's because of the George Romero was very big on social commentary. Mm-hmm. And he gave opportunities and chances. Because like I'll be saying sometimes, the guy who is now the director and creator of The Walking Dead and Creepshow worked on the set of A Light Night of Living Dead. He lived in the town that George Romero was from and he was 14 years old and he gave him a job on Night of the Living Dead. And after that, he worked on all his films. And after he passed, he took up his mantle and he created his own zombie show. Mm-hmm. He kept he created he re, redid creep show because george romero did creep show and 
the the his whole just story and aura about him and how he made films and how he hired locally and how he hired friends and people with no experience and now these people are industry known standard people that boy is 14 years old didn't know nothing about a film didn't know how to make a film and now he is the creator and director of one of the biggest zombie shows of our time it's crazy it's amazing wow. it's amazing um but yeah now what people got blacklisted because a black man lasted last yes yeah. yes yes in 1968 inward lovers <laughs> yes, that's what the that's what the, the man told me that they thought <laughs> I'm being so serious. I literally stopped and I because I I believe I had just saw the movie and I wanted to just talk to him to tell him like, yo, I just watched this recently and it was really, really good. And he was like, Well, let me just talk to you about it for a minute. I'm not asking you to get an autograph, get no money, give me no money. Yeah. I just want to tell you because you know. You're an African American woman, and you're saying that it's a powerful film. I just want to tell you what that film did at that time. They tried to take it out of theaters. They tried to. A lot of them people never worked in Hollywood again. Mm. So yeah, it, it was a it was a big deal. It was a big deal. A wow, wow. big deal. I'd be thankful for like those moments. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like it's one thing to like look that stuff up or hear it, you know, see it on the internet or even hear it in an interview, but to hear it from the people, you know, and I think that's why I like those cons and those conventions uh, are so so cool, and I've learned so much about them from you that I was like, damn, like I. I know if one if, if any of my favorite things ever want to have a convention, I'm gonna be there because if there's gonna be there someone there that I can actually get information from, learn about my favorite stuff, you know, it's yeah. You you take those opportunities and you've had some really great experience and conversations with people that you just would never think that you would have ever met before, and you've met them and talked to them and had great conversations with them as if like you they you were being paid to do it. <laughs> yeah, but that's the crazy part. It's about asking the right questions and yep. like yep. steering the conversation in, your, in a way where you would get them to tell you something that nobody is asking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how Especially I've gotten... Especially in this day and age where anybody of celebrity, you know, you get a picture and then you're like, and then you walk off, you know, like, you know... Yeah. But you know it's crazy because me, I, Dion went to a con, and if y'all don't know, my little brother is is Dion. One of my little brothers, Dion. He was like thirteen at the time, maybe twelve, and he was meeting one of his like favorite video game players. And the guy, he was just getting a pop signed, and the guy was like, "Um, well, do you have any questions for me?" And Dion was like, "No, nah, I can't think of any." He was like, "Look, I'm gonna tell you something, and you take this with you since you're going to cons and." You from Detroit, you're all the way in Canada at this huge con. He was like, this is your opportunity to ask me anything. You're never going to see me again, more than likely. Take this opportunity. So I'm going to let you think of a question to ask me. And remember that. They stood there. Dion was talking to this man for damn near 30 minutes. We didn't even know where he was at. <laughs> I lost him. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you over there chatting it up <laughs> but i'm glad that that was his first experience with the celebrity mm -hmm. because it makes him more comfortable so yep. now when we go talk to them now not only am i asking them questions but he asking them questions too and that's now we so having sick. a whole conversation that's so, so. sick man y'all need to start filming y'all so <laughs> yeah that would be really great stuff like really great stuff micing yourself up and yeah <laughs> that'd be dope well, two snaps in a circle is the platform. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've never been to a convention, so I'm down. <laughs> Let's do it. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think it's time. But, man, we appreciate y'all. We really, really appreciate y'all sticking it out with us on our special Wednesday night going live. Um, Man, I can't believe it's all over. Yeah, but we're getting back into Harry Potter. Harry Potter! Oh, God. Join us. I'm going to be wearing week. my robe and my tie and 
my because I'm gonna be I'm a, getting a wine, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm have to make me a one, but no, I got my costume. I'm gonna be a Slytherin, I'm gonna be evil Harry Potter if Harry Potter went to Slytherin. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> That's sick. That's a good one. That's a good one. So when we come back, I'm gonna be Harry Potter ready. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna have to join in. Fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get I'm gonna your be riding this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your Harry Potter. All yeah, right, <laughs> get your Harry Potter. Oh man, yes, but, uh, I am going to Yumakon this weekend, Stacy. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's and, up. And um, Walter Jones is gonna be there. The Black Ranger is gonna be there. Oh wow! Yeah, he's really nice. So if you get out, yeah, I hear. I've heard nothing but great things about him. I heard that like he's hella cool. Like, oh, he's so cool. cool. He's so cool. Like he introduced us to the Blue Ranger as like his friends. That's He's like, yo, silly. this is my friend Siobhan, Devin, and Dion. That's crazy. They like, no, that's so <laughs> had a dance battle with Dion and everything. <laughs> yes. Stop playing. And but no, they that. all cool though. Like yeah. Tommy, Tommy gonna be Tommy was well, just here. Tommy. <laughs> but Tommy gonna be back on November 21st. Okay. At a comic book store. And he it was funny when we met him in in 2020 before the pandemic he put on his books that he would come to detroit in february of this year and he came to detroit in february of this yeah, year he's gonna play people love detroit yeah and um he was nice too he was showing showing Devin how to do karate moves and stuff that like, is so cool but we met the we met so far we met the blue ranger we met the um red ranger met the black ranger the yellow ranger the i mean the yellow ranger the chinese lady she passed away but yeah, only two we haven't met is the girls. We haven't met the girls. Yeah. We met all the guys from our generation. Hmm, okay. Of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the uh, OG. Yeah. 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 But we haven't met Kimberly or Trini. Or not Trini. Trini passed away. Um, what's the black girl name? What was her name? Mm. I can't think of what her name was. I can't remember. But yeah, we haven't met her either. But hopefully we can meet both of them. That'd too. be sick. That'd be sick. Yes. Yeah, man. But, so. Well, we Harry Potter in it next yeah, month. We want our Harry Potter ish? We finishing it out. And so join us as we get real cozy and we in our cozy vibes. Put your get your get your jackets out. You know, start packing up some gloves with y'all, like because it get cold out here. You know how this 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 first this first chill be very shocking to us. You yeah, know, you be like, dang, yeah. like I need to layer up on jeans. Like I need to like I need to start wearing scarves. Needs. Like I need to. The other day I wish I wore a scarf and gloves. Like yeah, I was last out Saturday. I wish I had on a scarf. Man, for real, you know. <laughs> period. You know, I think we've already surpassed. Like I'm, I'm not about to be in nobody's bonfire. Maybe in the middle of the day, I'll be. I sit at your bonfire. Maybe as we get to sunset. But once it hit night, it's a wrap for me, dog. Yeah, like I I'm unless I'm bundled. Up. Unless I'm, I'm bundled. bundled up, and I, I might as like, well just have on my coat. Might as well just have on your coat. Period. But um, man, this has been two snaps in a circle. I'm Latoya Colts, to be correct. You can find me on the IG, Latoya Colts, and Point of Viewfinder. As always, get you ten pages a day over at Books We Should Have Read. Holla at Misfit Academics. Shout out to all the homies. Uh, yeah, I don't have nothing special coming up. That's all. That's all. Well, so I am a uh, Chevy, the superstar. Um, I'm here Chevy. on Twitch on Thursdays at 8 p.m. with Toya. And um, I'm here on Wednesdays with Stacy. Well, not here, but I'm around. I'm around, y'all. Uh, <laughs> follow me on Twitter. I mean, Instagram at S the superstar. Okay. Yeah. I'm around. I'm around, you know. Yeah. And we will see y'all. Next Thursday, next week. when we watch a Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Y'all have a wonderful, safe, yeah. safe and prosperous Halloween weekend, y'all. Yep. All yeah. Right. Love y'all. Y'all be good. Bye.